So, this rain front's coming in from the south, and any time a, a warmer front comes in and hits a colder front, you, there's a possibility of having tornadic activities, in other words, tornadoes and high winds. Well, hello ladies and germs. I'm Jackson Burns. I'm the redneck archaeologist and I'm calling you or talking to you from uh, Houston, Texas. This is uh, right before Christmas. It's uh, Sunday. Uh, we were doing uh, videos on weather, how to judge the weather and all that. But now we've had something interesting come in since this front came in from the south. It's, it's, it's changed coolness. The cool, it's got colder uh, as we were talking. Uh, we were talking yesterday that the when the weather comes and hits and all that, you know, how it's going to change and how to judge weather uh, changes before it happens. And so today we're going to be talking about this dirty ass air that we have in Houston, Texas. Uh, right now I'm looking at my truck, the hood of my truck, and I'm hoping you can see that. That's covered with dirt. Uh, this whole vehicle is just covered, covered with dirt. And now this came from the sky. It didn't blow in. It came with the rain. Now our skies are this dirty. So here's the mystery. What caused this dust and this dirt to come in? Uh, and land on everybody's vehicles. I mean, we've been sick. Everybody's been sick in this town. Uh, pig flu, pig flu, the swine flu, H E N one, whatever it's called. Uh, it's the one series, whatever. H N one, H something, another N one. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a. My my family used to be uh, pig farmers. <laughs> we knew better than to mess around kissing with hogs and stuff. Uh, catching the diseases, but anyhow, um, this whole city is just full of people. There's already six that's died from the swine flu, and there's 24 more that's been affected so far, just north of us. Um, this was clean yesterday, and you can see this dirt. And I'm going to take this nice, clean rag that I have right here in my hand, nice and clean. And we will show you how clean it is. It's nice and clean. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to wipe it on top of this truck, just on the hood. You can see the windshield. It's pretty well splattered too. I'll, I'll do some on the windshield first. So we'll take it and we'll go and we'll wipe it a little bit. And then we'll show you. There's some dirt. We'll put it here. We'll wipe this. You can see this big clean area that I'm getting here. Now, can you see the dirt? I believe you can see that you should be able to see the dirt. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, there you go. You see that dirt streak right there? Let's get some more. Yeah. Okay. This truck is covered with dirt. Now this came out of the sky. This is what we're breathing here in Houston, Texas. Uh, can you get a shot of that? I uh, hope. So, that's, that's just one couple of rubs across my truck. Could you imagine what it would be like to breathe this into your lungs? Okay. So there's several excuses that was given for this. Nobody really knows what's going on. It's making all the news right now in Houston. Uh, on Channel 13, they're discussing it right now. Nobody seems to know what this stuff is. There are several things that they think it might be. However, the best, the best one that I'm betting on is from Mexico. Uh, this weather front, as we discussed yesterday, uh, was coming in from the south. And so all the front and all the wind, all the clouds and all that good stuff came up from Mexico 
it probably picked up the dust or the dirt from the deserts of Mexico and it hung in the air. I mean, I've had ashes from volcanoes that blew in Mexico cover my house and my yard and my vehicle before. Uh, so here we are living in Houston, Texas, uh, so close to the border. We get other countries' problems and of course our country doesn't do a damn thing about it. They know that this is happening. Look at how dirty that is. So you can see it pretty good there. So, you know, that's that's pretty filthy, man. And that just came off my truck just now. This is what I've been breathing for the last couple of weeks, or three or four weeks, or four or five years. Who knows, you know. Houston's not known for, for uh, its cleanliness with these plants and things also on... Uh, like in Pasadena and areas like that with the different plants, the shell plant, the lion doll plant, so many plants, blah, 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 uh, Exxon, just at the whole place over there. I've posted photos before how, you know, bad it is. Anyhow, they release on the weekends, such as like on a Friday night to midnight, Sunday night, they'll release all the toxins because there's nobody from the EPA there watching it. There's nobody checking their emissions and all this other. They have back doors uh, uh, plans to do this uh, to get away with the EPA uh, regulations and whatnot. Now, I'm not saying that this is from here. I mean, I'm, I think we're cleaning up the air pretty well. Uh, however, we've been rained in for the last two weeks here and with cloud coverage, and so that doesn't let these things go out. It doesn't let the, the you know, the clouds do not separate or, or, or and let the, the dirt and the germs and the crap out. So what we're dealing with is, like if this did come from a different country, like Mexico, then we're being attacked basically through biological warfare uh, from another country. And with all these people falling over dead from the swine flu, it probably got in the air from down there. Who knows? Because, you know, those guys are not the cleanest. Now, I'm sorry to say this to you guys. I'm married to a Mexican, a Mexican national. Uh, and even she admits that she doesn't want to go back because it's too damn dirty. So, you know, if I was the president or some jefe or whatever of a country, I would take care of that uh, some way or another. And if I was an American jefe, uh, I would be taking care of that too because this is an attack on our people. Look how dirty that is. That is what we're breathing in Houston, Texas. So what is the mystery of the mud rain, we're calling it. Everybody's calling it the mud rain because that's what happened. It basically rained mud and dirt. The mystery of the Houston mud rain. Uh, most likely the Mexican dirt mud rain. Anyhow. So much for living in Houston, Texas. This is Redneck Archaeologist Jackson Burns signing off.